Buongiorno. Buonasera. My name is Michael. I grew up in Brooklyn, New York. Greatest place in the world, besides Italy. Um, I, ever since I was little, I wanted to be a gangster. When I was walking around the streets of New York as a little kid, I'd always see the young gangsters hanging out around the bar, having a good time. And I always wanted to be a part of it. I, ever since I was a young teenager, I started working my way up in the business. That was when I met when I met my, my good friend Charlie. We didn't become friends though until we were both around the ages of um, 20, 25 and 26. We were starting to get more established. I was always more established than, than Charlie, but um, I respected him because he was smart and he was well respected. He, he, he knew he knew what to do. In, in most situations, um, but I, n I never, I never really liked this this kid named John. I never really liked him. He was always hanging around Charlie, but I just never, I just never really liked him. And then one day he comes, he comes over to me asking me to borrow, to borrow money, to borrow like, to borrow like a, a lot of money, a lot of money. And and I told him no. All right, no. You go go, go ask someone else, not me. Don't bother me. I, I don't I don't give out loans. I'm at the bank, all right. I don't give out loans. And then Charlie was like, was like, Yo, Michael, like you 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 can trust him. You can trust him. He's my, he's my friend. I've known him since childhood. You you can you can give him this money. And then I was like, All right, all right. You know what? If you say he's good for it, he's good for it. I gave him the money. I waited a week. He never, he never paid me back. He never paid me back. Now, I'm, I'm a reasonable guy. I'm a reasonable guy. I believe, I believe, I believe down to my spine that you have to be reasonable in order to be respected. You have to be fair. If you're a hothead, you know, you, you can't be controlled. You, you, you're losing, you're losing your, you're losing your, your, your stuff all the time. Nobody's going to respect you. But if you're fair and you're reasonable and you're smart, that's respect. So I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go get you know, get John taken care of. I'm not gonna have him whacked or anything. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be calm, collected, get my money. So a couple weeks go by. I'm not getting any. I'm still not getting paid. I have to be paid. I can't find this John anywhere. He, I go to his house, he's not there. I go to his work, he's not there. I go to the bar, he's not there. So finally, I got, I gotta find, I gotta find Charlie, and I gotta ask Charlie where I can find John. But, I, but I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to, to break no, break no bones, break no kneecaps doing it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get my money, and I'm trying to just be cool. I don't know why they're making this so difficult. So I gotta find Charlie without creating any conflict or issues. Just, just, just let him know that I need to be paid. Just, just show him that I'm tired of being pushed off to the side without being respected as I should be. Now I'm going to the bar to find Charlie and get my money from John. Motivating.